Everybody's using different uh, mediums. I don't know if, I guess it's probably the same medium for being photography, but uh, different uh, gear. Uh, you know, typically in the past, especially uh, professionals, uh, you, you DSLR, you know, you're, you're bringing a big camera with some big heavy lenses. Um, but obviously now, I mean, you mentioned it, you know, mobile phones are pretty powerful these days. Some of these smaller cameras that go underwater are pretty powerful and can actually provide some, some shots that could potentially end up being on the cover of some magazine somewhere. Uh, what do you think of, yeah, tell us about the technology differences, you know, maybe. Or just your equipment, like what, what couple, are you using, what's your favorite? Before versus now and what are the benefits? Well, I'm not a I'm not a gadget guy. I'm not running out and buying the latest thing that just popped off the shelf. I work with Canon equipment uh, almost exclusively for the last I don't know since Autofocus came out. And, <laughs> you know, like before you were born. But uh, <laughs> but uh, you've got to have that. Uh, you know, full chip DSLR for hero shots and for uh -huh. and and uh, well again the type of job. This job. There's a lot more documentary. We've got several mm -hmm. articles coming out, Passage Maker, that'll be uh, showing what that's about. They're not product shots. They're not catalog shots to sell a yacht. So sure. it's a different approach. And in that regard, if you're working with a new iPhone, they've got wonderful processors. It's, it's unbelievable what they can do. And when, as soon as they start shooting raw, I don't think they have started that yet, we'll really be able to use them for, for uh, commercial work. Wow. Um, because yep. you really need to be able to shoot a raw file in order to do the work necessary on it to, to process it, get it ready. Uh, JPEG just doesn't quite cut it for sure. for commercial work. You know, again, the documentary style work. Hey, you're going to see some stuff you can't get any other way. I mean, uh, yeah. so there's there's GoPro. GoPros have been great, a great addition to the to the camera bag and, and the iPhones. Little underwater stuff. I used to have a small underwater camera. Uh, I don't use that anymore. We've got these domes for the GoPros, so you can do the half over, wow. half under. Very, mm -hmm. very fun shots. We've got a couple for this last shoot with Marine Max that we're gonna, that you'll be seeing soon. Excellent. So, yeah, I mean, the most important thing is to understand how to use the gear you have, not to have a ton of gear. Mm -hmm. The more That's gear you thing. have, the more crap you've got to haul around, drag through <laughs> customs, immigration, it gets banged up. You're working in the saltwater environment. You got to be very careful, and you will get spray on that camera. Yep. I don't care what it is. You're gonna. It's gonna happen. So you just have to be real careful with your stuff. The dry bags. Bring a dry, big dry bag and throw everything yep. in that constantly. You know. Well said. Yeah. Hey, it's uh, just get the tools you need, and then get really good with those tools that you really yeah. understand them, and you'll be fine. <laughs>